I thought it would be cool to show a tangible example of the difference between leveling a class on a slow speed scaling character and a, a different one on a fast speed scaling character. What's up guys, Soren here, back for another episode of Soren Says. While I wait for my new camera, I figured I'd make a video without my face in it. Today we're going to talk about an experience I had that I thought was very meaningful when talking about that growth in Final Fantasy Tactics Advanced. Now, we've talked a lot about speed and the importance of a stat that is nearly impossible to get in large numbers. In this experiment, I utilized a method of power leveling that I saw on Kai's channel, and I'll put a link in the description, where you work with the Frosty Mage quest, which I noticed can just be done, at, you know, hours later than it from when it pops up, which is really cool. And essentially with cell-targeting abilities, you can level up any of your units until all the way up to level 50, and obviously that takes a lot of time, and it took me about five hours, but I got five of our characters to level 50. And it's really interesting. On the screen, we have some examples of these characters and so I have to have some examples on the screen right now and you'll notice that at level 10 our March character is an illusionist and that's what I want to level him as because illusionist has fantastic magic scaling in mana which we're trying to make him an illusionist for another project and so I wanted to see how good we could make him for that next we have our Mont Blanc who I put as a I ended up putting as a mog Knight because mog Knight scales the most with attack and I want to build off of that gunner idea from last time. Following that up, we have our ninja, which this is kind of the point of the video, is showing the raw difference between like something that grows speed versus something that doesn't. You'll see what I mean. Following that, we have our gladiator, who I just wanted to level up. Having a powerful unit like that is going to help us power through the rest of the game. And then I had a different illusionist on a Namu to show why we don't do illusionists on humans. Namu are significantly better at it. Obviously, we spent five hours leveling. I am a very distracted person and so I was doing other things while we leveled and I'm very thankful for the speed up feature on the emulator. I don't think I could do this without it. After five plus hours of doing this we ended up with these stats and the key thing I want to take away from this is I learned two important things. One, Marsh is pushed for physical. I put him on the biggest magic scaling class that humans have and it took till level 43 for his magic stat to be bigger than his physical stat. His physical stat remained higher than his magic until level 43 out of 50. And the same thing went for Mont Blanc the other direction. I had him on the highest attack scaling class, and it took until like level 44 to pass up the magic. And that that's just kind of sad. It feels like it takes away player agency for those builds. And both characters are hard to work with because that sense of not being able to customize them makes them feel less enjoyable. Following that, our gladiator did well, and our the rest of our party did pretty well. But the other thing that I want to talk about is the true presence of speed in this calculation. Now, our ninja was the first one to reach level 50, and by the time it reached level 50, Marsh was still level 43. Now, they're all, they were all doing the same kind of ability, things like first aid, things that give them 10 XP per use. And so every level was 10 uses, and using that metric, that means that the ninja was able to make like 68 extra actions than, than Marsh was in this process. So putting that in perspective, imagine in a fight where you're only going to do about six. That's roughly, you're going to be able to do almost twice as much, if not more, actions as the ninja than you are for, for the illusionist. So you have to have a pretty powerful illusionist to make up for that. Here we'll, we'll show the, uh, the end results. The end results, we ended up with a marsh with over 500 magic power without gear. That's pretty hot, but his speed is 149. Mont Blanc ended up with over 500 weapon attack and 150 one speed, but the ninja ended up with 538 physical, 450 magic power, and 202 speed. So honestly, the ninja at level 50 is almost better than both of them combined, and has almost double the speed. So power leveling a ninja human is pretty impressive. And just just to look at it, the gladiator, the, 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 it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. It, it had the physical attack and defense, not bad. But honestly, it's not that much better than, than the, uh, the ninja. The defense Defenses are better, but not magic resist, you know, the only the physical defense is really the what matters. So 
that even sucks because it feels like ninjas are just significantly better than gladiators. And then showing the Namu at its core, which honestly is really impressive. A whopping 59 more magic power. And even, even the Namu has three extra speed. Now obviously I didn't count, I didn't micromanage how many times we got the extra point per level, but the fact that a Namu ended up being faster than a human and had better defenses, or magic resist at least, and had better magic power, why would you ever make a human illusionist? And you'll see why I did it in the first place. You know, that'll that'll be a, a video for another time. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it's a pretty niche examination, but I feel like we talk about growth and speed, particularly in a very vague, very like design specific way that overlooks the like a, a concrete example. And I think this video kind of worked with that by giving a physical, like tangible comparison between two things. So I I imagine some of you have watched the surprise video that I put out on Saturday. I'm actually recording this one on Saturday, so I, I hope it does well. It's a un Unity tutorial. It's very, very specific niche, but hey, that's what we come to expect on this channel is niche but helpful information. And if that ends up being something you guys want to watch more of, let me know. But in the meantime, I'm going to keep doing Tuesdays like this, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance Rants, some, maybe some design stuff. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. The last few videos haven't gotten us any subscribers, which kind of sucks. We've gotten tons of views, which is great, but the channel does need to grow in subscribers as well. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. About 87% of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So anyway, I hope you all have a fantastic day, fantastic week, fantastic life, and I hope to see you all in the next episode of Soren Says.